Hi friends. I am back in the poetry garden again and um, it's so great to be here on this spring day when the trees are finally emerging into green, each at their own pace, which I love. And I also love the way that these spring days call up in me a response of something new, of life-giving emergence. And as much as I know about cause and effect, on days like this, I can't quite tell if the bird song in the morning is what awakens my joy or if it is my joy that allows me to pay attention in ways that I can hear the bird song. There is this concept in Chinese philosophy called mutual arising that says that each of us or all that is in fact exists only in relation to all the rest that is. And on these spring days, I am fascinated by noticing the interrelationship of all that is inside of me and all that is outside of me. And so I share with you this poem from John Caddy's collection called Morning Earth. And it's a beautiful set of poems that he wrote throughout the year following the seasons, beginning in fall, which intrigues me in and of itself. But this, spring, this poem that I share with you is from late April, dated April 29th. And because he is a Minnesota poet, he is tracking things that are familiar to us in Minnesota at this time of year. Trees are suddenly on flower. Catkins dangle green and gold, oaks blush red, plums white, all abrupt as the blush and bloom of puberty. What magics push through stems, these sudden blooms and the greening ears of leaves. Suppose it is spring choirs, the primal night song of the frogs, the first light chorus of the birds. Say it so. Say the birds release the trees while frog song greens plants close to soil. Old liverwort, mosses tossing spore caps, berry bushes, lily thrust. The choirs are fully throated now. In these brief days when dawn bright birds overlap the night song of the frogs and all turns green and flowering and children almost know their loveliness. I love the question about what magic is pushing the emergence of spring into our world. What causes the catkin to dangle like green and yellow fringe from the trees and then fall like a fringy carpet underfoot? What call and response happens between the nighttime frogs and the dawn bird song? And what in us is called forth by so much emerging in the natural world? And what part of us might be beckoning spring forward to? Let me share with you the footnote at the end of this poem from John Caddy. He says, modern notions of causality are wanting. Mythically and metaphorically, leaf green, spring flowers and puberty are synchronous, perhaps mutually arising in another phrase. He goes on, suppose cause is beside the point. Suppose 
being is central and the flow of life and the nature of our participation in that flow is what matters. On this spring day, as we lean toward summer, I ask you to wonder with me, what in you is emerging and what emergence in you is participating with all that is emerging in the natural world around you? How are we all participating in the mutual arising of this season, of this day, of this time in the world's emergence into something new? Take good care, friends. Be steady, be well, be open to the emergence happening all around you and within you. Be well.